Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Hey, check this out. I've had uh, actually a couple of people ask me if it's possible to make a conference all Ivy League. And it took me some work, but it is there. It is possible to do so. And I'm going to show you right now the way I did it. It's not necessarily the way that you have to do it, but it's the way I did it. I took the ACC. OK, and what I did was I created a new ACC and I split it into, you can see, a coastal division and an Ivy League division. Now, you cannot change the names of the conferences because they pay money for uh, EA Sports or EA Sports is paying them money. Whatever it is, you can't change the name of the conferences. So that sucks. You cannot name the conference Ivy League. But you can name the division whatever you want. So the ACC has two divisions, the Coastal Division and the Ivy League Division. And you can see Penn, Dartmouth, Columbia, Yale, Harvard, Brown, Princeton, Cornell. And I'm going to tell you, there's a guy in the community. His name is Mad Skills GH. Mad Skills with a Z, GH. He, I don't know how much stuff that he's done, but he did create all of these um, Ivy League ones. And it's it's beautiful when you find um, everything you're looking for created by the same guy because you know they're consistent and all of these teams are consistent. So if you're looking for Ivy League, I don't know what else he's done, but if you're looking for Ivy League stuff, he's the guy to look up. Um, but what happens here is with the eight-team division, Every team in the division will play a seven-game Ivy League schedule, which is what happens in real life. Now, you will have one game from the cross division, which is fine, and we can take a look at the um, other division. I made it so it's competitive. I didn't want to put, you know, Miami and Virginia Tech and Florida State in here against the, you know, Ivy League division. So I made it what I felt was a competitive um, division. And the conference overall, that'd be kind of cool. So I got Liberty, Coastal Carolina, Rutgers, Boston College, Charlotte, Temple, UConn, and UMass in the Coastal Division. So uh, the crossover games are going to be all pretty much competitive. And we can take a look at the schedule that Yale has. They're going to open up at Central Michigan. Then conference play starts home against Brown, home against Cornell at Princeton, at Columbia, at Penn, home against Boston College. That's the cross division play for that week, the season anyway. Um, home game against Miami non-conference. Look at that, three bye weeks. Wow, nice little break. Uh, home against Clemson, and then conference play starts up again. Home against Harvard. They finish up conference play, Ivy League play at Dartmouth. And then they finish up the season at Ohio. So that is a, a good way. Like I said, you can't change the names of the um, conferences, which kind of sucks, but it's understandable. There's money involved. But you can change the name of the divisions. So your ACC, I what I did, is a Coastal and an Ivy League. So you will have an Ivy League champion at the end of your season, and that Ivy League champion will take on the ACC Coastal Division winner for the ACC Championship. That's how I did it. You don't have to do it the exact same way. But I just wanted to show that uh, creating the Ivy League in College Football 25 is possible. And uh, it's actually pretty cool. I'm going to um, I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing this. So I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.